Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking with marketing experts from around the country. Today, we're in San Antonio, Texas, talking to Corinthia Kroom from C3 Talk to Me. And Corinthia, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the conversation. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I appreciate the, uh, the invitation. Uh, no problem. So why don't we get started by you sharing with us a little bit how you got involved in marketing in the first place. Absolutely. I actually started out as just an administrative assistant. Um, and so with some of the administrative duties came some of the um, social media production. Hey, can you create memes? Can you put together a video? Can you figure this out for us as well as like answer some emails and things like that? So it kind of started as just the the administrative um, administrative role, which developed into some more of the like public relations and now um, specifically telling so stories through media uh, mediums. So when did you start C3 Talk To Me? So it, I believe the official launch would have been 2018, January of 2018. And that was as a result of um, working with ACT Photo Media for a little while. Um, there, just being the creative director and uh, ACT Photo Media is actually a photography company. So um, that's how I kind of started to work on more of like the actual visual storytelling aspects. And so um, wanting to do some of the storytelling myself, I launched See Through Talk To Me because um, I just wanted to tell some more of the like visual and video and now audio uh, sides as well. Storytelling is very important. You really have to have a story and be able to share it with an audience to get the response that you're looking for. So what kind of conversations are you having with your prospects and clients when they're getting started in working with you? I always ask them, how did they start? Um, a lot of times the backstory needs to shine through like the rest of it. So I have always started out with where did they start? And then what is it that they think they want to say and who do they want to say it to? Um, that's like, those are like the three basic questions, like where, where are you at and what do you think? And then how can I assist you in telling that, um, more effectively to who you're trying to speak to? So that's, that's really like where I start from. And that's really a clear way to, to really tell a story and get a message out. And with video evolving, with social media evolving, all these different new ideas that come out there. Where do you see the next couple of years and what you're going to be implementing for your clients? I am pretty sure that the way that we interact will probably involve NFTs a lot. So if whether that's making it um, the actual, the creation of some sort of digital um, currency, or if it is the uh, option to use an NFT as a, as a receipt or what it, whatever it will be, I think that will be the that that'll be the direction. Things that I'll have to learn, things that will be relevant to how we're even going to use it in telling a story or getting a message across, or whatever it may be. But I do believe that that's that is the the, the movement, um, and that a lot of it will go to probably being a lot more raw. We're we're seeing. Um, a less edited version of a story come across. So yes, we, we enjoy our Netflix and we enjoy our Hulu um, subscriptions, but there is also this element of, hey, let's get on YouTube and see what's just a cut and dry day-to-day -day type of story. So I, I believe that that's gonna end up um, being where we're going. People aren't always gonna want us some huge production. Yes, it's nice, but I think they're gonna, we're kind of going more towards that raw, rugged look um, of a sure. story. Yeah. So with the things you're doing with your clients, what, what do you think is more powerful, video or podcasting? I think it depends on who you're talking to, honestly, and that you probably should use both in anything. If you have a, if you have a podcast, you might as well record yourself recording the podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you have some sort of video element, you might as well release an audio version of it. There's nothing um, wrong with that option. And yeah, I, I'm 
if you start out on one platform, it is, I believe, easy enough to use both. And you should use both, no matter what it is that you're doing or, or selling. So if you have a if you have a podcast, easily make it a visual podcast as well. If it's just audio and if, if you have something that you're doing that's video based, but it has some sort of audio element to it, then you should also have um, the a podcast version or just an audio version out as an option. Well, that really does help with uh, people making decisions on how to get a message out. And obviously the answer is as best as possible in many ways as possible. So we thank yeah. you for sharing that with us and really thank you for sharing your story and all the great things you're doing for your clients. Thank you. I appreciate it, Howard. And thank you all for joining us today as well. Uh, it's really important that you're getting your story out. Many different ways to do that, many powerful ways to get that statement across, but you have to be telling your story and sometimes the more visual the better. There's more information to learn about C3 Talk to Me here on Daily Ad Brief. But go on, have a great rest of today. We'll see you next time on Marketing Champions. Simplify presents addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.